wow, I had just had the kind of day that makes you go, wow, I totally forgot to vlog today. So uh, before it closes it on midnight, and so I can still catch Veda Day 8, uh, wow, I totally forgot to vlog today. Um, hi, Internet. Should I, should I do one of those vlogs where I'm like crazy Internet vlogger, and I'm like just rambling about like stupid stuff, and like... I say, hi, Internet, a lot. I don't know. Um, it's late, and I'm tired. I mean, I got my old man glasses on. Look at this. All right, so let's... Um, shall we recap? Um, so, um, this was actually a pretty good day. I, um, I'm still on staycation. I slept, which I needed to, after going to... Uh, various jams last night. Um, I hit the jam in Hermosa that I was talking about. Um, it was awesome, but it was also really freaking loud. And, um, you know, is this where I go on my diatribe about going to jam sessions? Because I have a whole thing about various jam sessions that I've gone to over time in the past. Um, let's, here, let's do this. Let's go back a few years. Let's talk about New York City jam sessions. Um, New York City jam sessions, if you go to jam, oh, and let's, okay, let me back up. So jam session is basically where, for those of you that are not musicians, um, where basically, like, some guys go and they host a night where you just play music, and then other musicians that they want to come in and they want to, you know, play with the band that's there or like bring up like a few other guys or whatever and like do their own thing like you can um so you know i started going to jams back in denver where it was you know a very kind of democratic jam like you'd go you'd show up there'd be a list you could put your name on the list they call you up you play two or three tunes you get the hell off that to me is jam etiquette um, so flash forward to my experience in New York City where basically you go, you put your name on the list, you wait an hour and a half, you wait another hour, finally somebody calls you up, you get to play one song, and then they tell you, God, you were great, next time just come on up. Uh, yeah, I did that a few times. Um... And then flash forward to L.A. jams, where a lot of that still happens. Uh, I've gotten to the age where I don't deal with that anymore. I'll go, I'll listen to a few songs. If I see somebody I know, I'll say hi. Generally, I get to go up, I get to play a couple songs, I get to fuck off, you know, whatever. Um, last night wasn't like that, um, simply because... Boy, I don't want to dig on this jam at all because it's a new jam that's happening. Uh, and I like the people that host it. So I don't want to like disrespect anybody. But the core band shouldn't play the entire night. Like the core band should you know play like an hour. Like if they want to play like a set, that's cool. But once the core band has played their set, you know, they should completely open the floor to anybody else that wants to play. And I feel like last night I came basically to the core band's gig and, you know, those in the know could go up and, you know, sit in. But it wasn't really a jam. It was, you know, we're this amazing group of musicians that have, like, put together all this stuff we're going to play and we're going to call it a jam. Um, I don't know. And so I felt weird. Like, I didn't want to go up to the guy that I knew or the guys that I knew in the band and be like, hey, can I come up? Or just grab my horn and, like, walk on up, you know, because I, you know, I do know them and they do know me and they would be cool with that. But, like, you know, not everybody knew me. And it's just weird. Um, so... Went to the jam, enjoyed the hell out of the music they were playing, wanted to be a part of it, but just felt kind of weird about just 
getting on in there. Because to me, there is an etiquette. There is like, you know, a polite sort of time-honored tradition of how a jam should be run. And, you know, basically, I, I love having carte blanche at a jam. I love, like, somebody saying, hey, dude, just come on up. But it's also kind of nice to be asked, and it's also nice to, like, ask everybody else. Like, there was just, there was no jam, really. Uh, it's late. I'm tired. I'm going to ramble on that. Let's, let's get out of that phase. Let's talk about, let's talk about my day. I had actually a really good day. It was, it was as good of a day as it could have been still being in the situation I'm in. Um, but this was a good vacation day. Like I got to go down, I got to ride my bike on the beach. I got to like chill out. I got to just like enjoy this amazing day, even though it's well, down here, it's not that hot, but it's hotter. We're, we're getting a heat wave in Los Angeles. Uh, so we're in the middle of a heat wave. Um, but today was a perfect day to be down at the beach. And I will be doing that for the next two days as well while this heat wave, uh, like, you know, resolves. Um, so, yeah, I got to do that. And then I got to go uh, hang out with a friend from my old hometown. So, like, this whole, like, latent high school reunion thing that I've been going through, switching cam hands. Um, I actually had sort of a mini class reunion, even though it wasn't like with anybody that was in my class, but it was basically my best friend's sister. So if there's anybody else that I would have wanted to just hang out with that knew me, like that was cool. And, um, and, and we got to catch up on her family and my family and all that stuff. So, uh, that was fairly awesome. Not only that, we got to drink some really good beer, hang out on the pier. Then we went and got some amazing Brazilian steakhouse uh, curascuria thing where you flip the red and the green and they just feed you until you bloat. And I'm, I know I need to be taking my gout medication tomorrow, but uh, that's an entirely different blog. Um, okay, so I think I've rambled enough for tonight. Veda Day 8. Done. That's how you do it. Um, wow. Yeah, this was a good day. This was a good day. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, ask me questions. Subscribe to philipclark.com. I mean, sorry. Go on to my mailing list. Get on the mailing list at philipclark.com. Listen to my music. Stream my music. Play my music. Buy my music. Please, buy. Buy my stuff. I do comics, too. Buy my comics. Um, generally, you know, here's the self-promotion thing. It's very short and brief to the point. Okay, see you tomorrow.